Hi family, I'm Jordan Thorpe and this is Jordan's Journey YouTube channel, your number one resource to help you grow in faith. If you're new, welcome. If you're already subscribed to the family, welcome back. Thank you so much for tuning in. And today family, I wanted to talk to you in regards to you are being sought after. You are being sought after. God is sending for you. God is sending for you in this season. So what does it mean to send, okay? And the definition of sin is to cause to go or to be taken to a particular destination. Arrange for the delivery of, okay? So God is arranging for your delivery to a specific destination. God is arranging and orchestrating, strategically orchestrating, orchestrating for you to get to your destination okay and in order to do that you understand that god moves through the hands and feet of his people right through vessels so it's going to be coming from god sending for you is going to come in the form of a person a person of great influence of power and authority this person is already going to be on this level so they're pulling you and sending you that this is the person who God is using to send for you to bring you up to the level that they are already on if that makes sense right so God is sending for you in this hour okay and so God gave me the example of Joseph Joseph in the Bible okay and so I'm gonna read some scripture here and it comes from Genesis 4.1. And it says, A young Hebrew was there with us, a slave of the captain of the guard. We told him our dreams and he interpreted them for us. Okay, so this is at a point where the king had some dreams and no one in the kingdom could interpret the dreams. So one of the, the guards, the captain of the guards speak up and say, Hey, when we were in prison, there was a guy named Joseph who interpreted our dreams and what he said came to pass. So he's saying things turned out just as he said, you restored me to my position, but you executed the baker. Verse 14, the king sent for Joseph and he was immediately brought from prison. After he had shaved and changed his clothes, he came into the king's presence. The king said to him, I've had a dream and no one could explain it. I have been told that you can interpret dreams. Okay. And so Joseph, the king sent for Joseph and was immediately brought from the prison. Okay. So the king was the higher of the higher influence who brought Joseph out. And now Joseph was going to the, to the king's level, right? He was, God was elevating him to his next level, right? And so it's important that you continue to be obedient to the last thing that God told you to do. Because the last thing that God told you to do is what is going to get the attention of the person who God is using, who God is using to send for you, right? So Joseph was in prison interpreting dreams, right? He was in prison doing the thing that God told him to do. It didn't matter if he had a following. It didn't matter if he was getting paid for it that's just what he was doing in prison right and so it wasn't until two years later after joseph had interpreted their dreams in prison that the king sent for joseph and he was released immediately okay so god is sending for you in this hour okay he is sending for you you are being sought after he also gave me the example of david the example of david so I'm going to be reading from 1 Samuel 16, 11, and it says, The Lord has not chosen these. So we ask Jesse, are these all of the sons you have? Okay, so the prophet goes to Jesse and says, Who are your sons? Because I'm anointing the next king. Jesse brought all his sons out except 
for David. And so this is where he says, the Lord has not chosen none of these. So he asked Jesse, are these all of the sons you have? There is still the youngest, Jesse answered. He is tending to the sheep. Samuel said, send for him. We will not sit down until he arrives. So he sent for him and he brought him in. Okay, so David was tending to the sheep. David was doing the last thing that God had told him to do. Tend to the sheep. And he was sent. So a lot of times we think we have to, when it's God, it will come to you. God will send for you, right? He will, you just have to be obedient and God will strategically orchestrate. He will strategically orchestrate and arrange for you to get to the destiny, for you to get where you have to go. That's the exact definition of sending, arranging things in order for something to get to its destination, right? And so Samuel says, send for him. We will not sit down until he arrives. God is sending for you in this hour, okay? And when this happens, when this happens, it's going, this is going to be, this happens right before the next level. And this word is particularly for people who who know that they are, that they're going to the next level. They know that God has been preparing them. You've been working on things. You've been obedient, okay? And so God is saying, continue to work on the last thing that he told you to do because whatever that thing is, is, is what is going to get the attention of the, the person who God is using to send for you, the person of influence, the person of authority, right? Who God is using to take you to that level, right? And so... In Genesis 41, once Joseph was made king, the king and his officials approved the plan. So Joseph interpreted the dreams. He has a whole plan. And Joseph already had experience of interpreting dreams. He already had a track record of ha interpreting dreams and then what he was saying come to pass two years ago. So he was already good for his word. So the king believed him approved his plan and he said to them we will never find a better man than joseph a man who has god's spirit in him a man who has god's spirit in him the person who god is using to send for you is sending seeking you out is seeking you out because you have the spirit of god within you period because you have the spirit of god is not any good works it's not any type of hustle it's not anything that you're doing. It's simply because the spirit of God is in you and they see that and that is what is attracting them to you, right? And the king said to Joseph, God has shown you all this, so it is obvious that you have greater wisdom and insight than anyone else. We'll put you in charge of my country and, my, and all my people will obey your orders. Your authority will be second only to mine. So... Joseph became in charge of the country, the people, and he was second in command, okay? So this elevation is going to become power, authority, okay? And I talked about, I talked about this in my last video, um, talked about don't abuse your power, okay? I, I believe it's entitled, you'll need this for your new level, okay? And... So he says, I now appoint you the governor over all Egypt. The king removed from his finger the ring engraved with the royal seal and put it in Joseph's finger. He put linen robe on him and placed a gold chain around his neck. He gave him the second royal chariot. So this is life changing. This is a life changing experience, this elevation, which I've talked about the great reward. I talked about the, this life changing transition in this life-changing level that God is taking you in okay he says I placed the gold chain around his neck he gave him second royal chariot to ride on his guard of honor went ahead of him and cried out make way make way God is saying make way make way for what he's about to do for what he's about to do in your life 
And so Joseph was appointed governor over all Egypt. The king said to him, I am the king and no one in all of Egypt shall so much, shall so much as lift a hand or a foot without your permission. He gave Joseph the Egyptian name Zapatin Fenai. So his name changed, his name changed. And a lot of you with this elevation, you are going to be experiencing a name change, whether it's a new title, whether it's the author, producer, a homeowner, you're gonna have a name, whether it's a spouse, a last name change, there will be a name change within this elevation. And he gave him a wife, Asina, the daughter of Sephoria, a priest in the city, okay? And so, this is a great word, family. So God is sending for you, okay? And if any of you are looking for prayer, you can join the Journey Group and Jordan's Journey app and send your prayer requests in the little icon that has the prayer hands, the prayer hands, and I will see them, other people in the group will see them, and we will be able to pray for you, okay? So that's all I have for now. God loves you so much, and so do I. Bye.